I'm in the parking lot right now. It's still early, about like 10.30 in the morning, you know what I'm saying? So basically, this is like the facility right here. Boom, walk all the way straight down up over there. Bust that right, what's it's up, where dude? it is. Yeah, hey, what's going on, fellas? What's happening with you? Not you know much. what I mean? How you feeling, baby? All right. I'm YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. She made me a Dane drops back game with another super, super official. Four of you kids, digging, baby. I know you can't. Hey, listen, man. All right, guys. I'm out here for my final day in Massachusetts. And let me tell you something, foodie fam. Y'all been holding me down something crazy the better half of the week. The illest part about it is the fact that I posted exactly where I was going to be here in Massachusetts. Matter of fact, where am I exactly? This is a uh, this is Malden, 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 Massachusetts. And you guys are like, who are these gentlemen with me? Well, it's Foodie Fam repping Massachusetts. Hey man, y'all got YouTube channels and everything, right? Yes. Yeah, so go ahead, TV. man. Go ahead and do your super plug, man. Introduce yourself. Skizzle Bra TV. That's a uh, little skits. I'm big skits. I know uh, skits going on. What you hey, care? Man. Let them know about your channel and all that good stuff. All right. Uh, we got a channel, a prank channel. We do a lot of food pranks. We do all that kind of stuff. We do, uh, you know, ghost hunting. You know, and all. You know, uh, what else we do? Uh, public trolling. Public trolling. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes we do a little serious talk about, you know, some serious issues and stuff like that. But uh, mostly we just like to have fun. And we like to mess with our stuff that. Yeah, we love to mess with my dad's schizo dad. I'm sure if you plug that in, you'll find a lot of pranks. We okay, okay. Dad, yeah. The funniest prank we actually did to him was actually a pie prank. Mm -hmm. We did to him when we had him in handcuffs in public, blindfolded, <laughs> and had the public take service at him with pies to the face. Well, hey. Yeah. <laughs> well, so. we're going to get that link. We're going to plug that link right in the description box below. So the ill fly part is that we're out here right now at Kelly's Roast Beef Spot. Seafood too. Most hey, hey, seafood. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, it's crazy. <laughs> when, you, when you look it up, it just says Kelly's Roast Beef. But yes, they serve up the seafood joint. They got the regular sandwiches and everything. Well, because it says roast beef, I'm not gonna leave here without beating up a roast beef. Exactly. So food fam, you know what time it is. Let's go. All right, quick shout out, you know what I'm saying, to the train up over there. That's what y'all listening to right now. You know what I'm saying? Train is posted up, so you're gonna hear that <laughs> ding dingage for a hot minute in the background. All right, what we got going on up over here, man? Is that you, B? I think it is. Right there? I think it just might be. All right, this is me over here. Oh. All right, that shows in the back. Some of us decided to come to a roast beef spot and get chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's living in I, the I, I, won't, I, I won't say no names, but, but it ain't me. But somebody was like, yo, I want chicken. Nah, B, forget your roast beef. It's good. Sesame seed bun action on the bun. Nice little, ooh, you know I like that press right there, right? That press is sexy. It lets you know that you're going to get a little light crisp right here on the exterior. Then you're going to get that soft bun. Ooh, look at the push. Look at the push right there, okay? Mushed in your face. American cheese is holding us down, ladies and gentlemen. But most important is what's happening right there. So y'all looking at this sandwich for real right now. Roast beef, real hard body. Real extra thick. Oh my goodness, pickle action sitting there just laid out like a bed sheet at the bottom. Oh, let's go ahead and take a bite. Not half bad right there, man. Getting a nice little tender bite, all up with the roast beef action right here. That pickle work, crisp, crisp levels of acidic happiness. And what it does, it kind of breaks down the flavor on the roast beef game. That American cheese brings back a little bit of that processed perfection that we come to love with American cheese. So it sits there and it holds the roast beef, but it doesn't hold it back because they give you so much roast beef. Let me say it to you one more time. You get so much thick, delicious roast beef in that bite, and you're sitting there, you're saying to yourself, self, is that roast beef that for real? Is it that serious? Is it that fresh? Is it truly that thick? You would know. You would know if they, they went shy with the roast beef hand. But to me, they, they went all the way out with this one. It's almost like a sesame seed bun potato bread type flow, little bit of crisp, but you know how potato bread is extra soft on the interior, you can respect it. So that's what I'm getting with this particular roast beef. I mean, fam, how you feeling with your roast beef sandwich? The pickles give it that extra tanginess, mm. you know? But like you said, the cheese, it's, on, it's, it's laid just right, you know? You get enough cheese, but you don't get too much to the fact that you can't, that, you know, the beef, the beef overtakes everything. You right. Know? And with the sesame seed bun, it's definitely a, a soft bun, really soft. Oh no, I mean, it's not too bad. 
For me, I would mess around and give Kelly's roast beef. I I'd give it a three and a half. I mean, how you feel? Would you come back for the Sunday you would recommend or you would like, you know what, if I don't have Kelly's again for the next six months, I'll be okay. Right. Um, I would say, yeah, it definitely depends. I mean, if you're local, Kelly's definitely a spot to hit up. I think locally, it, it's, a, it's a great choice, but if you're coming out here and driving through, you know, you come in here once or twice, it, you know, it, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing special, mm. but it's definitely something worth trying out, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, so your roast beef, you had a rate at one to 10, what would you get at roast beef? A six. A six. Yeah. Respect that. Respect. I mean, how, how's your chicken? I can, I can, how's it chicken? Is the chicken any good? It's good, but the french fries ain't good. Ooh, talk about the fries, bro. Let them know about the, let them know it's where the, they messed up with the fry game. It's just, it was just disappointing because like you'll think that it'll have like a little more of a crunch and stuff. It's like all soft and like don't really have any crunch to it or anything. And I, I don't know, it just tastes like um like you know how like sometimes I mean like those McDonald's fries kind of. Yeah, oh yeah, bro. Like how like, it's all soft and barely like no taste to it. Mmm. That's how these fries are. You ain't saying the bad McDonald's fries. Like McDonald's has some good decent fries when they're fresh. Right, but when, when, but when they when they get when they getting cold and they sit, yeah. you got an attitude when that's, you hit that front. That's, that's what you tastes. got. Yeah. Oh, it's them hell no fries. Hell no. To the no no no. Hell to the no. Hell no. To the no no no. Hell to the. So don't come for the fries. Don't come for the fries. That's real. I respect that. That's real. Right. How about that chicken though, man? Good. Like, what would you give the chicken out of one out one to ten? What would you give the chicken? Give it about an eight. It's not the best, but it's good. Okay, an eight is pretty high. <laughs> yeah, and and eight, 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 like near perfect. Yeah, like you like you would hit him with like and a the six piece. Why, and the and the reason I give it eight because I, I love chicken, so mm -hmm. that's why I gave it an eight. But mm -hmm. it's not the best, but it's, okay, it it's decent. All right, Foodie Fam, you know what it is. Thanks for rocking out with me this week. I know I haven't been doing any of our normal corporate reviews where it's like KFC, McDonald's, Wendy's, and all that jazz. But y'all guys know, anytime that I'm out and about, and I will be going to Cali this month out there in LA. So, I, you know what I'm saying? LA Fam, if you see me post where I'm going to be, you want to link up, hop in the food. Yo, you can, I keep it 100. Yo, Foodie Fam, come meet me wherever. You're going to get up in the review. If you ain't camera shy, get up in the review, plug your channel, all that good stuff. That's just how I move. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here without all of y'all. You know what I mean? All of y'all. I'm not here. I didn't build this on my own. This was because you guys watched, you guys supported, you guys shared it. And that's how we grow together as a community. I don't know what those other creators do, but your boy Dan keep it 100% funky each and every time. That's just how I roll. You know what I mean? So once again, one more final plug of your YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and put that in there. Schizo Bra TV. Um, you can also find us on the Schizo Dad too. Find a lot of pranks there, like the Twinkies prank, pie prank, um, bunch of other stuff. Um, so if you look up Boston. We did a know. trigger Q&A where, um, yeah. where pretty much we had um, people pretty much send him like really bad comments and he starts raging over it, which that was a real fun Yeah, we one. do all kinds that of pranks funny. to him and stuff too. So like, you know, just, um, Either Schizo Dad, you can find a Schizo Dad under that. Schizo Bar TV is the channel's name. Boom! There it is. And you already know, man. It's your main man, Dame Drops. Rocking out with you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, more and more and more. Super official. Photo of his kid, Digga Baby. I know you can't. Hey, listen, man. I, right, Foodie Fan, we just wrapped up. And as we're wrapping up, you know what I'm saying? More foodie fam came out here. We got Gabriel in the building right now. Big G, what's going on with you? What's going on? What's the good word, man? Well, the good word is that you're here trying to experience all the delicacies Boston has to offer, you know? Yes, sir. Now, what's, what's your opinion of Kelly's Rose Beef? Have you ever eaten here? Yeah, I've eaten here before. What do you think of it? It's all right. You know, I mean, I kind of like the surf and turf, you know, because you get a little bit of everything, some mm -hmm. from the sea, some from the ground, you know? Nice, but, nice. But, uh, you know... I think that, you know, it's, it's a pretty decent place, but there's much better in my opinion. Okay, all right. Well, you know, you're gonna have to share that much better with me next time I come out to Massachusetts, man. Definitely, bro. Most stuff, most stuff. Definitely, definitely. Pleasure, man. Pleasure, fam. You know Pleasure what I'm saying? Pleasure to meet you. And all right, guys, don't forget, man. Yo, February 7th, Levity Live. Food Titan Comedy is going down. In the link below, you can go ahead and get your tickets. We're gonna have a meet and greet after the show for my fam out there in West Nyack, New York. Out there in the Tri-State area, come through, rock with your boys. It's a Tuesday night, it's 7.30, nice and early. We can get our hungry and all that stuff wild out. You know what it is, I'm out of here, baby. Aye!